Whether you want the thrill of dealing massive amounts of damage in spectacular fashion, there's no archetype better than the mage to dole it out in spiritual spades. These masters of the arcane arts have the weakest defensive attributes of all, but they also have the most powerful offense. Mages are not classically trained in melee combat because they lack physical brawn and are easily killed. This means that your mage will typically fight from as great a distance as possible, or the rear of a group. But that doesn't mean they're completely defenseless. Mages can root their foes in place with spells, like arcane bindings. A typical attack string with a mage usually involves first rooting your foe, and then casting a damage over time spell like Static Pulse. Once these effects are cast, mages should fall back and blast the mob into oblivion. As you learn new spells, experiment with different combinations in an attempt to find a good rhythm with a perfect string of attacks. However, as your mage has an extremely weak defense, expect to do a lot of running away when playing solo. While root spells are useful to separate hostile groups, when the effect wears off, the mage will have a difficult time fighting multiple enemies. As you grow in power, you'll continue to develop your arcane craft, eventually taking on a new subclass title such as Sorcerer. These specialized mages are trained to deal enormous amounts of damage. Or you might decide to become a summoner. This subclass controls and trains pets that you can use as a tank when you don't have a fighter around. If you're thinking about becoming a mage, remember that a mage's most important attribute is intelligence. This is key when choosing the race of your character. Elves, gnomes, and especially erudites make good mages. In short, the mage archetype is one of the most empowered classes, a near necessity in any group, and is truly a force to be reckoned with.